Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman 3 and a Death in the Family mission set in Dartmoor, England. And today we are going to take care of another Death in the Family redacted challenge, along with a whole host of other feats and discoveries along the way. Starting with Elementary, my dear Diana, for disguising ourselves as the Private Investigator. We will then move on to a Private Moment Redacted Challenge, which entails photographing Alexa at the corpse's bedside. And moving on from there, we will get the Alike Dags uh, for uh, obtaining the Bulldog Cane. And once we have the Bulldog Cane, we can then get the Dog's Secrets Redacted Challenge for locating a secret room. And then after that we will move on to house cleaning which entails finding six items dotted around the map along with a number of other clues we are going to be picking up. After that we will then move on to the mission story means motive and opportunity and after that we will move on to a matter of loyalty redacted challenge which entails accusing the butler of murder and then we will move on to ding 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 for interrupting the family meeting by ringing a bell and after that we will move on to a matter of guilt redacted challenge for accusing uh, one of the other family members before we finally exit the mission via the bridge to gain the bridge on the Formbridge River discovery or feat. So for this challenge we will be bringing with us our ever trusty lockpick, some coins and a silenced pistol. So what we are going to do right from the start because there is a lot to take care of here is we are going to make our way into the property via the usual over the wall route just like when we were kids. So we're gonna run straight ahead of us into the bushes, duck down and over the wall just ahead of us at the lowest point, around to our right. And we are gonna gain ourselves a gardener's outfit. So once we're across the stream, into the bushes, we're gonna stop just before the end here. We're gonna pull out our coins and we're gonna throw a coin against the wall in front of us. That will get the attention of the gardener off to our left. And when he comes to investigate, we can render him unconscious and we can take his outfit. So, nighty nights to you, mate. We're going to collect back up our coin. We're going to take his body and we're going to hide him in the bushes provided by Mother Nature. We're going to take his outfit and we're going to proceed on onto the property itself and around to our left here through the little garden area with the mushroom like shrubberies and we're going to make our way around to the side of the building where we can then enter into the building via a bathroom window and acquire ourselves a much better disguise. So in through the bathroom window we're going to place one of our coins just on the floor, just a little bit close to the cabinet there, we'll put it here, yeah, about there I do. We're going to take another coin and we're going to throw it against the window and we're going to collect that coin back up and hide ourselves in the cabinet provided. And that will attract the attention of a couple of bodyguards from outside, one of them will come in and he will investigate, uh, he will spot that coin he will move in to get that coin and we will then be able to render him unconscious and take all of his stuff. So once he's unconscious we're going to take back our coin, hide his body in the closet provided and take his outfit. So this outfit we are going to use solely to get us across from this side of the building to the other side of the building which wouldn't be a problem really, but it's much easier in this outfit. And once we're over by the weapons cabinet area, just here, which is just off to the side 
of the entrance hall. We are once again going to drop a couple of coins on the floor and we are going to await the arrival of that gentleman over there, Mr. Phineas. And he is going to momentarily come through this door here, walk past us, he will spot those coins, he will move in to get those coins. You don't strictly need to drop the coins to get him alone, he will come over here anyway, but you can possibly be spotted through that doorway by a guard on the upper floor balcony. So if we get him to move just a little deeper in, the guard can't see us throttle him. We can then hide him in the convenient closet right next to us, and we can take his outfit. So with that in hand, that will get us the Elementary Dear Diana Challenge. We're going to collect up our coins, and the very next stop is going to be uh, Zachary's bedroom, that's the bedroom with the dead body in it. And what we're going to do now is take care of a private moment, I believe it's called. So we're going to go up the stairs and around to our right, along to the end of the corridor. And then remember that the door is unlocked and we can just walk in. And we are going to hide in this room. And I'm not going to kid you, it's going to be for a little while we're going to be in here. And we're going to wait for Alexa to arrive so that we can photograph her sitting with her brother. Uh, she's currently downstairs waiting for me. But she will eventually get bored and go back to her routine. Part of which is to come into this room and sit with her brother. And when she does we can then drop, drop out of our hidey hole. We don't actually need to hide. We're not trespassing. But once she's sat in the chair and chatting to her dead brother. We can then take a photograph of her. And that will get us our first challenge. Or our second challenge should I say. So there we go. A private moment. So with that taken care of, we're going to make our way back down into the entrance hall downstairs. So out of the corpse's room, around to our right, down the corridor, around to our left, and down the stairs, back to the entrance hall, where we can now engage the butler in conversation. Where is he? Ah, there you are. Excuse me, sir. I'm Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. Ah, Mr. Whitmer. Madam Carlyle has asked me to be of assistance to you. I trust you've had a look around. Are you ready to see the crime scene now? I am. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. So the butler is now going to lead us back to the dead body's room. Zach's room, I'm going to call him. Zachary, his name is. But I'm going to call him Zach, just because it's easier. Uh, all the way on the journey, he is spitting lots of exposition about the family and you know other little things useful to listen to, but it does drone on a bit, so I've managed to muffle him somewhat. But once we get to the room, inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play. And will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. I know, I've already been in there. So we will once again enter Zach's room. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. And if we use instinct to have a quick look around, you can see there are a number of highlighted areas. The first of which we're going to go for is the table by the fire for the suicide note. There are six items in this room. The second item will be the laptop, which is just in the corner here. Our next two items are in the center of the room. Firstly, we're going to have to use our camera. We will scan the body and then scan the murder instrument. And then finally, over in the far end of the room, we will find a bookcase with a secret passage. And that will be number five. And in that secret passage, we will find a floor plan. So that's six items collected from this room. Now, what I recommend you do now is go and speak to the butler. And he will give you a, a 
basically a checklist of all the clues you need to find. But I forget to do that and I'm going to move straight on to our next room which is out of Zachary's room and around to our right down to the end of the corridor. You can lock pick your way in if you wish but there is another way if you don't have a lock pick or a crowbar on you. And we are going to scoot out the window and along the ledge all the way around and then we will come to a balcony area and we will then be able to investigate our second bedroom of three. So we will be investigating three bedrooms, uh, the greenhouse and the butler's office. So once again use instinct, have a quick look around. There are four items available in this room not including the letter opener on the table behind us there. So our first item is a letter on the bedside table. Our second item is a keychain on the floor by the luggage here. Our third item is to scan a pair of muddy shoes. And our last item is the bull dog head cane, which will get us to like dags. Now we're going to take that cane, exit the room and make our way down the corridor to our right and through the double doors and immediately round to our left where we will find a secret passage. We're going to use the cane to access the secret passage which will get us dog secrets and in this room we will find an old letter from uh, a dead sibling from years ago and that will give us another clue. So moving on in an anti-clockwise direction we will now make our way to the far corner of the building and our third bedroom for inspection. So once again we're going to duck out the window and around the outside of the building. Like I said if you have a lockpick or you feel brave and a crowbar you can just bust your way in. So in this room there are only two items to be discovered. There is a, another secret passage which can be accessed via the painting on the wall. So all we need to worry about today is the laptop. There we go. And a letter on the coupe by the fire, which we will need to scan. So there we go. So that's all three of the bedrooms now taken care of. We're going to make our way now downstairs to the butler's office. If I can remember the way. I am going to show you this very quickly. There is the secret um, shortcut. It is in the dead body's room, Zachary's room, but we don't have a crowbar so we can't bust it open. We do have a lockpick, but the lockpick will not work. So down back to the entrance hall and around to where we collected the PI's uh, outfit. And we can then lockpick our way into the butler's office and there are four items in this room once again starting with the lethal poison on the windowsill there is a master key on the bookshelf there is a half burned notebook in the fire and there is a note on the desk so that's all of those items now collected so our next stop will be the greenhouse which is all the way out to the back of the building so out of the butler's office and around to our right through the building out into the garden we're going to stop on the far side of the fountain and collect this wrench and then we're going to approach the greenhouse being aware of the guard off to our left if he's not around we can lock pick our way straight inside we are trespassing in here somewhat so we will now approach the chemistry set on the desk there and we are going to repair that and then take out our camera and photograph the other clue in the room which is that book on herbology I believe or a diary of some sort and with all that taken care of that will get us the house cleaning challenge to pop and what's left for us to do now is to make our way back into the property and find the butler once again. Hopefully he's back in here. Oh. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. 
Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. And I will take you to Madame Carlyle. So we're going to engage him again. So he's just given us the documents we wanted for our checklist. But we've engaged him again now. Now we do not have all of the evidence. We only have some of it. We have enough to accuse two people. Namely the butler and the dead body. And they're the only two we're going to be focusing on. There is a third suspect who we will get to in another video. So the butler will eventually lead us up to the second floor, which is pretty much the only place we're not allowed in this outfit, unless the butler is with us. Everywhere else we can go quite freely, but if you want to come up here, you're going to have to change a disguise. So once we make it to Alexa's office, we're going to make our way inside and that will get us the means, motive and opportunity mission story. Before we sit down now, we're going to drop a quick save because we are going to do a quick loadout uh, and come back to this. So we're going to accuse the butler, Mr. Farnsby. And this section does get quite dialogue heavy, so we are going to speed through it as quickly as we can. So at this point, she's going to offer us our reward, and we don't want money, we want the case file. file you have on Arthur Edwards. Arthur Edwards, the constant. Yeah, the constant. So now we go into some more heavy dialogue. So Alexa is now going to open the safe and give us the case file. I need some privacy. Thank you. So that will get us the a matter of loyalty redacted challenge. We're going to take the case file and we're going to make our way now all the way back downstairs. And we're going to go to the meeting room, the family room or whatever it is, and that is all the way down on the ground floor once we get to the ground floor we're going to hang a quick u-turn and this large luxurious looking room here is where the entire family are about to meet up so we've just got to wait here now for the arrival of alexa there she is she's going to ring that bell over in the yonder there and that will call all of the family together for a meeting and once everybody is together we can start snapping photos of the family focused mostly on Alexa I believe and that should get you another challenge it does not pop for me though and you will see I, I take multiple photos from different angles all over the room but I don't seem to be able to get the challenge to pop so we're going to start snapping photos while Alexa gives her little speech momentarily. And then we're going to move on to the ding 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 challenge. 
see, I'm a little bit baffled here now because when I had done this on my practice account, it took one photo from around this point. Uh, literally, I took one photo and the challenge popped. So now I'm a little bit out of my era or out of my area, and I'm now just sort of wandering around looking for different angles to take the pictures from, knowing that I'm desperately running out of time to take on the ding 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 challenge so we're going to take maybe one more photo and then we'll move on to the ding 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 challenge so we're going to exit the room via the back here and off to a distance and a nice angle we're going to pull out our silence pistol and we're going to ring the bell so that will interrupt the meeting and that will get us the ding 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 challenge and everyone will start to leave. Now, the meeting will resume very quickly. So we still have an opportunity here to try and get the photo we need. And as you can see, I am focusing much more on Alexa now. Trying to get everybody in the picture if I can, but especially Alexa. But the challenge just will not pop for me for some reason and the meeting is now over so opportunity lost so we are now going to wait here and you see that lady there I'll let you into a little secret she's the real killer and she is now off to the greenhouse to discover that we have repaired her chemistry set and she is going to make some poison and she will return here and she will poison a glass on the desk you can see over my left shoulder. Here she comes now looking very very shifty. So she's gonna add the poison to the whiskey. You don't look suspect at all and she's gonna wander off and this does take quite a while because she's got to go all the way to the greenhouse make the poison and come back and all we have to do is stand here. We don't have to move because eventually Alexa will come back into the room and she will drink from that drink. To my mother, the living... You might want to rephrase that there, mate. Living is stretching it somewhat. Man, this one looks like Mission that. complete. Well done, 47. So that will get us the another death in the family challenge. So what we're going to do now is reload our save back at the meeting with Alexa. And this time we are going to accuse Zachary. And again we're going to try and speed through this as quickly as we possibly can without actually cutting out the dialogue. services have you decided on an amount so once again we are going to ask for the case file file on him arthur edwards how do you i see So once again Alexa will open up the safe and give us the case file we require. I need some privacy. So that will get us the a matter of guilt redacted challenge. We're going to take the case file and now we need to get rid of Alexa, which Good is easier you. said than done. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madam Carlyle. I think we already have Diana. Look at that. 
Can you see that? Ooh, that was a quite a nasty landing. Well done, 47. So with that taken care of, all that's left for us to do now is exit the mission and the level. So we are going to jog all the way down the stairs back to the ground floor. And instead of going out the front doors, we're going to head around and out through the side door uh, towards the back of the mansion where we will find a bridge. And all we have to do is cross the bridge. So there you go, that is the uh, another Death in the Family Redacted Challenge and a whole slew of other challenges with it. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.